Good afternoon. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Um, hot and humid here in Florida, but you know, what can you do? Okay, so I have a new journal today. This is my very first ever nautical theme journal. This is from a kit from uh, Victoria Designs and it's called Under the Sea. And it's two signatures. It is a double cardstock cover, reinforced spine. We've got this beautiful vintage lace on the spine. The kit comes with several banners, four of which I've used on the inside and outside covers. It comes with an anchor. I did a survey on Facebook groups and there were some that said it was too much and the overwhelming majority of them said put it on. So I did. And we've got some cheesecloth behind it. I thought cheesecloth would be really cool throughout, so uh, you will see it throughout. It is an eyelet and twine closure. And let's go inside. Here's the other banner. We have a pocket here with an image from the kit, and I've just used photo corners. And you deserve to be happy with some cheesecloth behind that. In the pocket, I've used eyelash trim. It was more wispy, watery, wavy, I don't know. So I've also backed all of the tags. I printed on both sides. So it's the first time I've ever done that, so I haven't backed anything with like tea dyed paper and things like that. I've just backed it. I basically printed on both sides. But I think this was light enough that you can print on it. Print on it, excuse me, journal on it. And then this comes from Old Design Shop. This is backed with tea dyed paper. But all of the pages from the kit are not. All of the pages from the kit I've also printed on presentation paper. I have a die cut from Tim Holtz and it has this twig and then it has flowers and leaves and I just thought this twig looked super cool underwater. So you could look at it as, as uh, seaweed or I don't know, um, oh, what was that other word I was thinking of? It'll come to me. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I just thought it was a great addition. And then, of course, print it on the back. Now, this kit comes with three different or four different sizes of pearls. The biggest size were just really big. And so I've taken them and I've used my floral dye and just made because there's flowers underwater of some form or another, I'm sure. Well, there is in my world. And so I put it on here. As, so I'm calling them pearl flowers. Just because I can. I've taken an adult coloring book page. Have some fish and things in that. This is my favorite page. Just done some uh, cheesecloth and some of the smaller size pearls. And the branch. Driftwood, that was the word, driftwood. Then we have a tag. I've taken a bunch of, I scoured online for different small quotes about the ocean, sea, things like that. So this is one of them. The ocean stirs the heart, inspires the imagination, and brings eternal joy to the soul. A little bit of cheesecloth and another pearl flower. And then we have this tag, and I've just added a couple simple floral dies, these little teeny ones. We've got lined paper. This is definitely a journal writing journal, but on some of the pages like this, page um, I can envision pictures of beach fun, going to the beach, playing in the waves, photographs of your, that you want to journal about. 
a couple more pearl and this is a little bit heavier so I put it in with a binder clip this was inspired by a tutorial from Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures so I've used a page from the kit and I've done a ticket or a ticket a tag with a little heart-shaped pearl button wrapped it with twine and eyelet closure I've taken a page from the kit and then backed it onto some pattern paper I thought looked well with it we have pearls here pearls from the kit so they're paper pearls we have avocado dyed paper lined paper just a little booklet of paper. I've made an, a pocket. She also has different um, underwater images and then I've just punched them out and used them throughout. Two tags from the kit. And then it folds up, wraps around, and tucks in. And then it paper clips in. And there you go. Line paper, parchment paper that I've corner punched. This is scrap from the kit. And then this banner comes with the kit. We have a glassine bag. We have three pockets. Three, uh, yeah, three pockets. The first one I've made, whoops, a journal card with a little jellyfish punch on a piece of cardstock, an octopus journal card, and then behind we have two more tags that come with the kit. And a tag at the top. Now this is from um, let's see, Artie Mays and Tracy Fox. Their um, combo deal, working together type kit. And so this tag comes from them. But seriously, this tag works for everything. I've used it in this journal. I've used it in my Americana journal. And I will be using it in a purple, another purple journal that I'm working on. It can go in anything. Now, now that you've said that, you're wanting to see it in everything. Don't worry, I'll work on it. We got some cheesecloth and a, a, <laughs> an octopus punch. A little pearl label from Roxy's Creation. Oops, I keep bumping the like, that picture right there. Wouldn't that be so cute? Oh, that'd be so awesome. Some ledger paper. A Quarter doily, tuck, follow your soul that knows the way. And we've got cheesecloth and a couple of pearls. Then I've taken a page from the kit, folded it like an envelope, a pearl closure that's double thick. And then you've got a beautiful place for more journaling. It tucks right down in there. The other half of the adult coloring book page. Now here I've done just some little waves and another of the sticks, but this time it sticks up. Just be careful as you're putting the card back in so that you don't bend the stick, I guess. I don't know. It was probably not the brightest move I did, but because I always profess to be one that wants you to have um, ease of journaling and this probably isn't the easiest, so I'm sorry about that. But it was just too cute to not do. A couple of little pearls. Nothing soothes, soothes the soul like a walk on the beach. Don't I know it. Um, a journal card that comes with a kit and then this image comes with the kit. And then I've done a little napkin decoupage. And you can journal on the back. Behind the sticks. And there you go, isn't that cute? And that's the first signature. The second starts with a journal card that I've turned into a pocket and just torn it because I like to tear things, pockets, two journal cards, 
excuse me, tags. You can journal on the back. A banner tuck. See the beauty around you, a little twine bow. And then I fussy cut out one of the uh, seashells from the kit. This I found in my stash. I don't know where it came from, but I thought it was super cool to use in here. And an anchor. Isn't that beautiful? A beautiful image of the beach. That'd be awesome. Or even a postcard of your journey. Are postcards still a thing? I hope so. I like postcards. Ledger paper. Some tea dyed pattern paper. A couple of pearls. Create adventures for yourself. This one, I was a little smarter than the twig one. And I backed it onto fabric. Like Janine Morton shows us so many times. It's an awesome idea. So, he's pretty protected. And behind him, we have a beautiful tag with a die cut image of one of the pages, which had a seahorse on it. I love seahorses. And some cheesecloth behind it. And then the quote is, live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink in the wild air. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Like that one. And a journal card that comes with the kit. Another quarter doily tuck with some more pearl flowers backed with some cheesecloth. It's an envelope that I made out of a page from the kit. Beautiful paper. We have two journal cards in here with an octopus and a shell. And then I've also included some of the leftover die cuts of the pearls and the pearl flowers and some of the images that I punched out. You can use them wherever you'd like in the book. Center of the second. Another kind of a wave pocket under the sea. Two tags. I took this idea from inspiration from Mary Lou over at Porch Swing Designs. She likes to do little booklets in her journals and they're really pretty. So I've added ruffle trim to mine. This piece comes with the kit. The voice of the sea speaks to the soul. And then it's just some random pages, leftover pages from the kit. Avocado dyed paper. Another glassine bag with another tag from the Tracy Fox Artie Mace kit. A little jellyfish with some cheesecloth behind it. In the first pocket. Oh, did I glue it in? Oh, don't you hate it when you do that? Okay, this is just a collage piece that I've done with a punch from the kit, the seashell, and some cheesecloth behind it. And then I backed it with, yeah, I backed it with tea dye paper, I think. No, no, this, ch this cardstock. Excuse me, my mistake. And another journal card from the kit. And then behind, we have two more tags. A banner tuck. The ocean is everything I want to be. Beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free. A journal card. With two pearl flowers. You can journal on the back. And then another banner. And that is my very first ever nautical themed journal. This will be put in my Etsy store in the next few days. Look for it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and I hope everybody is well. Bye-bye.